They'll be calling you a radical. Kevin Blanche, you on my walk. I've really got a good education today. Through, we're up above Pismo, Morro Bay. I actually spent some time this morning over at the Sand Dudes of Pismo before we left Pismo. And I was encouraged over there. A really great colony of shorebirds, but I talked to some lifetime fishermen over there. They're saying what everybody says. Three year rapid decline. And they all say the same thing. Every fisherman I talk to says the same thing. No sardine, no fish. You know, and they're all, you know, and then we talk. They all know about Fukushima too, by the way, but how great is this ecosystem? I want to live in that house. But I'm here with a native right here. Pablo de Pismo. Pablo de Pismo. Now, where exactly are we at? Montaña de Oro. Wow. You go through there, and I got to tell you, I'm also very encouraged when you come through the groves there, the little teeny road. No dogs posted everywhere. So there are places that are getting it. And uh, I want to get, you know, the tide pools are important. You know, and you could see them. I'm asking people about them, you know, because... I mean, I'm not here all the time. I don't know what's supposed to look like and what not, but people are saying, oh no, we know. There's no purples, but... The one thing that I find very dramatic talking to people so far, and I'm into my third day of my walk, you know, I'm getting into the good places now. And the one thing that I'm finding out with people is you're talking to the salt of the earth people, which that's this army that I've been able to build and this network that I've been able to build, this powerful genre of YouTube. People know they're native, they're salt of the earth. And you can tell the people that are involved in this fight are people that have been tied to the landscape their entire lives in every place I go, especially along the coast of California. And they all say the exact same thing. Every one of them says the same thing. We've watched it in decline. We've watched it post Fukushima in decline. It's in decline. And it's unarguable. I have one thing that I've learned, I've walked from San Diego to San Lafre twice in 2013, 2012, I say. You know, as they get up through the center, I've walked through San Francisco. They all say the same, it's unarguable. The starfish are missing. The sardines are gone. You know, the shorebirds are in decline. The mammals, I mean, everybody talks about the sea lions dying, and the mammals, you said it yourself, right? Pismo? The seals it. The seals are all up along the coast there, the dead birds, dead fish walking shore, uh, the birds eating, uh, yeah, just numerous. It's everyday thing. And it's been in decline, I mean, well, I, from people who are telling me, they've seen a rapid decline over the last three, four years. Yeah, that's true, very true. Nobody seems to see that. How could everybody be so blind? Well, I think it's because 90% of the people we're seeing are tourists. They're not connected to the landscape. You know, so I was talking to this guy. I says, oh, you from Pismo? And he says, yeah, and he's playing ball ball. And I said, what about the dead birds right there? And he tried to argue me right by his feet. Then I get talking on further investigation. To hell he's from Pismo, and to hell he lives in Pismo. You know, he's coming from Fesno to get drunk and disorderly on the weekends, which they do, and throw their beer bottles on the beaches. That's exactly what they do. And so then I'm like, oh, and then I'm like, hey, what about the dead bird rights? Oh, I didn't even see it. Oh, well, you bar man. <laughs> you know, I'm like, God, we in Utah? You know, you got the same crowd here, but very encouraged with the hearings at Diablo Canyon. I spent a lot of time with Mothers for Earth. You know, Jane and her, and I had a very wonderful conversation. So did Linda and I. And you know, they're they're getting older, but their work's paramount, and they're relentless. Mothers for Peace. Yes, excuse me, Mothers for Peace. They yes, sir. Are, they are what's pushing the county. And they always have, and they're the relentless. The Alliance is in there also. Yeah. And, you know, there's a handful of these guys out there that are fighting toe-to-toe. -to -toe. You know, I want to say thank you to Dana, too, for mapping out my trip. She laid out my map every detail on campgrounds or whatever. And then, of course, I did some wheeling and dealing today on a getting a sleeping bag. 
<laughs> had to freaking trade a Geiger counter that is in Utah, so he's got to trust me. <laughs> but he could always push me out here. <laughs> but I'm going to walk, you know, I'll probably get about 12 miles in tomorrow, right on the road. You know, tonight we'll see where I camp. And I'm very getting a very good thumbprint and footprint and nose print and taste print visually. All the five senses are filling up because I'm talking to people that lived in these places their entire lives. And I'm seeing it from my own eyes. We'll get into the good spot because the elephant seals are mating. And so the elephant seals will be mating. And I'm going to be in places where there are no humans, none. You know, so I really will get a good thumbprint of because, you know, here they, they comb the beaches in the morning real early and they pick up the dead animals quickly. Of course, they missed them some in Pismo, but they come through early in the morning up there on the tourist beachheads, which they're all tourist beachheads across there now. You have to get into places like this, but I'll be able to tell up there because there's places they don't get in and get them. And like I said, they're mating and you know, we'll be able to see a lot of stuff up on the top. I'm very excited. I'll be up, I'm gonna sleep in the Redwood Groves, you know, just my sleeping bag and it's gonna be an adventure. It already has been, you know, I'm only what, three, four days into it. Wow, but I've already seen the last three, four days in this part because I'm going to places where we can really get a good thumbprint that I haven't been yet in the last three years. So, stand tuned. I'll keep documenting this. <laughs>